This is the Magic Pinwheel block that finishes at 12 inches. And I like it because it looks like it it's wavy, but it's really not. It just consists of squares, half square triangles, and rectangles. Really easy to cut and really easy to piece. Here's what they look like with four blocks together, and this would be a great scrappy quilt. Here are the patches. There are three patches. Patch A is a two inch finished square. For rotary cutting, we're going to cut two and a half inch squares. And if you have the AccuQuilt, you can use these dies to get your two and a half inch squares. We'll need four squares of each of the blue fabrics and eight squares of the background fabric. Patch B is a two inch finished half square triangle. And we're going to make the half square triangles two at a time. So if you rotary cut, you can use this method. You'll cut two and seven eighth inch squares but we will not cut them in half diagonally. We'll keep them in squares. We'll need six squares of the background and six squares of the red fabric. If you're using AccuQuilt, these are the dies you can use to cut the half square triangle shapes, the patches. So you will need 12 patches of the background and 12 patches of the red fabric. Patch C is a two inch by four inch finished rectangle. We'll cut four and a half inch by two and a half inch rectangles and we'll need four patches for the background fabric. If you're using um, AccuQuilt, here are the dies you can use to cut that shape. Here are the fabrics I've chosen. I have a dark blue and a medium blue, and for my background fabric, I've chosen this Blue Bonnets flowers. They're the state flower of Texas. For the half square triangles, I've chosen this red fabric and the background fabric. I've already made four of the half square triangles. And then finally, here's the background, the rectangles. The first thing we're going to do is make our half square triangles, and we're going to use the method of two at a time where we take the dark and the light fabric, put them together, draw a diagonal line, and make two stitches, then cut them apart. If you're not familiar with this method, stay tuned for a short tutorial that shows you how to do this. On the back side of the light fabric, we're going to draw a diagonal line, put the fabrics together, right sides together, and we're going to stitch on either side of the diagonal line. Here is the diagonal line drawn, and then the stitching on both sides. Now we cut this in half along the diagonal line. Then we have our two half square triangles. Press the seams open and cut off the nubs. I'm going to put it together on my prop it board so I can take it right to my sewing machine and sew it together. We're just going to follow the diagram on the instructions and lay out all the pieces. to check and make sure everything is facing in the right direction, meaning the half square triangles. So we'll just check those now. Okay, and looks like everything's in place. No, everything's not in place. Took me a while to figure it out, but I put these in the wrong spot. So there, now that looks better. We're going to sew the units together in rows. When you get to this part here where these two rectangles are, you'll have to sew these two together, sew your four patch together, and then sew these two together because these will have to go there. So you're going to have these two rows, you're going to have this big row and two more rows, and then stitch the rows together. Thanks for watching.